Hi everyone, BriefCam has just released BriefCam version 2023 M1. And in this video, we'll review some of the new features and improvements. This release includes three main impacts. With this release, BriefCam introduces its patent pending custom classified innovation. So in addition to BriefCam's built-in set of classes, you can now create your own classifiers to meet your own needs. The release also debuts a new infrastructure for real-time performance. Customers who use this new infrastructure will benefit from higher accuracy in crowded scenes, longer dwell times of up to 10 minutes, better handling of static objects, and more accurate object counting. And this release also introduces a completely redesigned user interface. The new interface includes many new features and easier navigation for faster investigations and an even better user experience that will still be familiar to our existing users. So let's have a look at all three of these impacts. We'll start with the custom classified innovation. So the custom classified innovation, it lets you create your own classifiers. As you're familiar with, we have here classes, but now you can create your own classes and train them on your own data in your own environment without having to share your data. So you can train, for example, uniformed employees, taxis or ambulances, to expand how you can use BriefCamp. So let's say you work in a hospital. You can add classes for hospital employees, and then you can trigger alerts every time a non-employee enters an area that's only for hospital employees. The sky's the limit for the use cases that you can use these new custom classes for. With this first release, you can train up to three classes. And the classes are actually subclasses, either of the person class or four-wheeled class. You can take advantage of this new innovation when you install BriefCam's next-gen engine for real-time processing. So this brings me here to our second impact, maximize real-time performance. So this new engine, which runs on Linux, uses industry standards. And when you adopt this new infrastructure, you'll get faster alert times. So all alerts will arrive within five seconds. You'll get two times the throughput for real-time channels when compared to the classic engine. And this, of course, significantly reduces the total cost of ownership through a reduction in hardware. And with the new engine, you can also define a longer dwell time in the respond dwell filter. So you can define now 10 minutes instead of two. And the engine also has improved people detection and tracking accuracy, and also better people counting. If you use this new infrastructure, you'll also be able to receive alerts when a group of a predefined size forms for a certain amount of time. So this new group detection, it helps prevent crowding and allows you to monitor groups for public safety or for quality of service. With the next gen engine, in addition to people counting, you can now also send alerts for airplane counting. Now for customers who opt to keep using our classic engine, this version also offers an improvement in real-time performance. The number of real-time channels that can be used on GPUs using our classic engine has increased by up to 25% depending on the GPU type. And now on to our third impact, optimized user experience. Let's first have a look at our completely redesigned user interface. On the left here, you'll see the classic view and on the right, the enhanced view. Currently, BriefCam continues to support the original classic view alongside the new enhanced view. And if you want to explore the enhanced view or return to the classic view, a single click takes you from one view to the other. There's lots to see here and I'll focus on the main enhancements. So I'm going to open here the new version of BriefCam in the enhanced view. 
And I've logged in here, which I do by entering the machine name slash app. So I'll open here a case. And up here you'll see that button where you can switch back to the classic view. But I'm going to stick here with the enhanced view. And in the enhanced view, when I click here on a thumbnail, the viewer tab splits into two and you can see now that you can now do side-by-side -side investigations by looking at the thumbnail together with the close-up clip. And you can also switch here to the original video and view that also side-by-side. -side. When I'm running the video synopsis and I click on one of the objects and run that, I'll get here on the bottom all of the objects associated with that scene. Now you can also control the real estate on your screen and what you see. Two things you can do is you can collapse here this pane and you can collapse this pane leaving you a lot more area on your screen to work on your investigation. Another thing you can do is go here to this grid drop down and decrease the size of the objects so that you can see more objects at one time or increase it for easier viewing. Now let's talk about the scene filters. Area, path, and line crossing. When you hover over the video synopsis here, you'll see here this icon, and these are our scene filters. I'll click on that, and you'll see the different scene filters here below. The area, path, and line crossing. And so let's say I draw an area here, and then I can also draw a path, and even a line crossing. In the classic view, I'll switch over to the classic view to show you what the previous behavior was like. If we wanted to draw more than one of these scene filters, I would have to click on area, draw the area, apply it, and then open again the other filter. I don't see the area filter that I've already created and then I would have to draw here the arrow without having the area filter that I already drew as a reference. Okay, so let's now switch back to the enhanced view. Now the flow for faces, license plates, and proximity has changed a bit. Where in the classic view, the users would have to guess which of the objects could be used in these filters. In the enhanced view, there's an added step where you first filter for these objects and therefore there's no need to guess. So let me show you it in the product itself. So let's say I want to use the proximity filter. I'll click here on this menu. Now notice here, as I said before, you can say show me objects with faces or license plates. I'm going to go ahead and select proximity data. And now I'll see the objects that I can use in the proximity filter. So as you can see, there's no longer a need to guess which objects I can use in license plate, faces, or proximity. And you can also export the detected license plates to a CSV file. You can now add a time offset to a video after the file was uploaded and processed. This was added because sometimes you have videos that have offsets between the real world time and the recorded time. And that's a major issue for law enforcement. Now we also added two features that make it easier to search for cameras. You can see here in the image that the path of the cameras is imported from the VMS and it's displayed in the client here when you're uploading a video from a camera. And we also have tag management. So the administrator in the administrator console can tag the cameras into groups, such as a first floor camera or all the cameras in the corridor. And that lets you easily search for cameras by categories. So here you'll see here when you're adding a camera, you can turn on the tag switch and search by tag. We've added a new capability called Fast Track, and this gives you a more automatic process to search for an object on surrounding cameras. And this is currently available with Genetech and Milestone integrations where the camera geolocations have been defined. So let's say I have this object here and I want to find other cameras where this object appears. So I would just click here on Fast Track. And as you can see here, you use Fast Track to search for the object below across nearby cameras. So what distance 
do you want the system to search from the original camera? I'll leave it here as 100 and as you can see it tells me there are three selected cameras and I'll leave the time range to investigate as is. I'll click apply and I can see for example that this object is on camera S2 and this object is on camera S1. The enhanced view also includes enhancements for the respond module. When you create a rule in the respond module, you can now use presets that you created in the review module. The respond module also now opens with the display of the last 24 hours of alerts, where in previous versions, all of the alerts were displayed, which could impact performance when there were many alerts in the system. You can also select your various preset time ranges or create a custom range. You can see here that bookmarks can now be color coded. We also made a number of enhancements for the research module. As you can see here, when you open the research module, you'll see the research overview screen. It displays all of the dashboards that are available out of the box for quick and easy onboarding. You'll also see a summary here of the detected objects in the environment and also the active cameras. You'll also see the last time that the dashboards were refreshed. Now research editors can also edit the screen and add customized dashboards. We also have a new aggregated dashboard called Customizable Table. And you can change this dashboard on the fly without even having to duplicate it and you can then select common dimensions and measures with just one click. We also now have six more of the detailed dashboards available as aggregated dashboards. One last thing, BriefCam is now running the latest version of Click, May 2022, which brings with it some new functionalities. For example, you can now embed and play videos directly in dashboards. You can add images to tables. And you can now show or hide dashboards using conditions. This enables you to target different user groups with the same dashboard. So that sums up the main features in our new release 2023 M1. And just as a quick recap, we talked about our three impacts. Our new custom classifiers that you can create with your own data. Maximized real-time performance with the next-gen engine and the optimized user experience with our new user interface. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.